Holy moly, this is a big bag. I cannot believe I did this on a domestic. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Felicia and I like to craft and especially sew. So today I'm going to show you I made a friend a gift called the one with the baby bag. Now I'm not sure if this is fitting <laughs> in the camera. It is huge. I have made it with a combination of um, this vinyl from So Unique Fabrics, this waterproof canvas from Online Bag Supplies, as well as their zipper tape and beautiful little seahorse zipper pulls. So I've got double zipper pulls on the big section, which opens up nice and wide. And it stays open with the boning in the top. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, but I wasn't content with just that. I had a little bit of fabric and it, I struggled to get all of these pieces I need out of it. Um, but I had enough to make a little pouch with the last zipper pull that I had in that one print. Um, and it's just a little pouch that I'm sure will come in handy with storing some baby stuff. And I also made a little change mat. So this is um, sandwiched pool that I got from Green Beans Australia. And I used the waterproof canvas that I got from Dreamy Bag Hardware. Uh, I also use their lavender thread to for the backing, which I also used for the lining. So I've also got a my little attention to detail. I put a little magnetic clasp, so you know they can clip on some keys or something that's easy to get to and find, and then just clip it back on. It's got a large zipper pocket with another one of those cute little seahorse pulls so it's quite a roomy zipper pocket. It's got a big uh, slip pockets which I've halved and then I put the keychain in the middle of that and it's got some side pockets to store nappies and stuff that are elastic on both sides and then it's got some outside pockets on the side it's got a slip pocket at the back with a magnetic um, magnetic closure and yeah just a slip pocket which is quite large and at the front it's got this extra pocket which is sewn onto the bag um, and it's quite roomy and I've also made a crossbody strap out of purple webbing which I'm pretty sure I also got that from Dreamy Bag Hardware um, no I think I got that I don't know I'll find out and I will leave a link to everything down below and yeah so I've done the little crossbody strap neatened off the edges so and it's adjustable obviously but yeah I'm not going to be able to show you this bag on because it's pretty big <laughs> I don't think I fit in the camera with the bag down there so it was her her first baby she had a boy and purple is her favorite color so I wanted to use that I've also added a little handcrafted label and uh, just my sewing label my old one that says handmade by Felicia and I've got zipper ends at each end of the zipper so they don't come off and yeah it was 
a few months in progress because I didn't take the time to read through the pattern and what I needed and I thought half a meter of this would be sufficient it's not so I got half a meter of the vinyl which was also cutting it very close I've only got scraps left of both of these and I'm trying to work out what to make with them uh, but I can also add to this beast of a bag but yes I used my Janome 1600p with the lavender Tex 45 from Dreamy Back Hardware and yeah I didn't film the process because I was learning a lot of skills I'm not new to sewing but I'm still new to bag making and sewing on a domestic this kind of bag which is massive flat table I'll show you the machine shortly um, I cannot believe I did it and I am pretty proud of it so and why wouldn't I be you should all be proud of the things that you make because each thing you learn new skills and uh, that's amazing so I hope she loves it as much as I do I um, I hope it's very useful for her for years to come not just with her first baby in case she has any more um, and then when she's finished with the baby it just makes a great big bag to store stuff and carry stuff so yeah and there's a base of vinyl um, you can see that I'm not I've still got some skills to learn uh, it was difficult to get all of the puckers out and I probably need to um, do some more manhandling of the bag but overall um, I think it turned out super cute and I hope she loves it anyway so this is the bag that I made on this machine so it's a Janome 1600p and as you can see flat bed so sewing these corners was quite challenging um, and I don't think I mentioned but I got two meters of the purple waterproof canvas and I don't have much left of it <laughs> so I've seen other videos they mentioned it's a big bag but you really don't and you probably don't get it from me saying this to you now but it's a big bag and you won't know until you try it um, you need a bit of arm strength you need to take breaks um, and yeah it's uh, a big bag but I'm very glad that I attempted it and succeeded and I can't wait to give it to her So I'm super proud of this bag that I sewed on a domestic machine. I cannot believe it. The Janome 1600P with Tex 45 lavender thread was in both the top and the base. Worked. I did need to be careful in some seams and it does not like sewing through sticky stuff and um, so I have to be very careful with that. Let me know what you think. Uh, have you ever made this bag? Would you attempt a bag this big? Do you have a domestic? Do you have an industrial? Um, I do have an industrial, but it wasn't kind to me. Uh, and that's another story. So I encourage you to push yourself to learn new skills, try new things. And uh, if you find my content interesting, I would appreciate it if you could Hit the like button, hit subscribe and just let me know your thoughts on how I did with this beast of a bag.
which I'm super proud of. Have a great day and thanks for watching.